What's up? Welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. I'm on a train and there's like two other people on this carriage, so I hope that they cannot hear me. Maybe if I pretend that I'm on the phone, that will be better. Okay, so I'm on my way to the city. I've got to pick up a vinyl. I'm picking up the record by Boy Genius. They were out of stock for so long and they finally restocked and I had a birthday voucher for JB Hi-Fi so I'm like I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna put in a click and collect order and I'm picking it up today I'm very excited because I've wanted this vinyl for so long and I'm just I'm just glad it's back in stock and that I was able to get my hands on one I've got my boost juice because I love boost juice for anyone wondering I'm a strawberry squeeze girly I've also got my pie but I, I got it like 20 minutes ago so it's probably cold now We'll see. I'm gonna attempt to eat it on the train and hope that I don't make a mess everywhere. We're at another stop. I really hope no one else gets on this carriage because that's gonna be even more embarrassing for me. Oh my gosh, no. No, please don't get on, please. I think we're safe. You know what I will never understand? People hate littering, right? Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't litter. I do not litter, I hate it. But there is such a lack of public bins. Like, I'm on this train right now and there's no bins. Like, where am I meant to put my rubbish? I'm gonna hold it until I get off at the train station, but still. I forgot to take my insulin and I've just eaten a whole pie and drunk like half of this. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging. I actually hate vlogging in the city and in public in general. This is terrifying, but it's fine. Got the vinyl. Oh, they've completely moved and redone the shop. I need to find like a sparkly blue skirt. So I've come to Paper Kites. Hopefully they've got something. Um, Fingers crossed. This is a new store and I'm so confused by their layout. I don't know where anything is. Um, scared. Yeah, no, they had nothing. So instead, I'm gonna go to Melbourne Emporium. I'm getting weird looks. It's fine. And I'm gonna go to like my second, oh, actually, no, it might be my favorite shop. It might just be my favorite shop. It's called MeQ and they sell like the cutest thing. They sell like a bunch of jelly cats, which I don't collect jelly cats. And I'm thinking of getting some. They have a moon and a star one that I've been looking at for ages. And they're just so cute, but like I, I'm like, they're just stuffed animals. But you know, I'm a little depressed at the moment, a little sad, a little bit grieving. So I might just buy these stuffed animals for a temporary hit of serotonin. Look, I'm sad, but I'm not spending $40 on a little plushie this big sad. I might spend $20 on a mug sad. It's, it's cute. I'm gonna get some earrings, they're really cute. Do they have any cute mugs? My mum will kill me if I come home with another mug, but who cares? They're so cute. I actually didn't realize how expensive jelly cats were. Um, tell me why, tell me why a little, a little plushie this big costs $40. Look, it was adorable. I almost bought it, but I'm I'm sad, but I'm not that sad. I don't need any more clothes, and I'm actually trying to declutter my closet, but I am gonna go to H&M. Is this a bad idea? Almost certainly. It's fine. See, when people say that's so preppy, this is what I think about, like, preppy. Not bright colors, not pinks and greens. 
from school. Okay, but this colorway is really cute. I haven't been to H&M in like a hot minute. And I'm just finding so many cute things. Like this is a mock neck sweater, but it's $80. But it's cute. Oh, actually, no, I don't like the arms. The arms are hideous. What is that? Oh my god, this is hideous. I love it. It's so ugly. No. This, however, could be a yes. Actually, I don't know if I like the neckline. But I like the color. I just don't know if I like how high the turtle neck is. I'm not gonna get it today. I'll think about it. I've just noticed they have a white variation as well. That is the cutest little long sleeve white dress. I'm gonna try it on. Look, it had potential. I feel like if it wasn't like a bodycon dress and if it wasn't sheer because you can literally see my shorts through this and I wear bike shorts with everything but I like the sleeves how like they're not super tight but I just it's a no it's oh I don't know I don't know if I like it or not I can't tell I'm gonna say no well um there's been a bit of a time jump if you can't tell one second ago, I was in the city, and now I'm at home in my pajamas. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just d t explain what happened. I had, like, planned to go to, like, the really cool bookstore in Melbourne and do a bunch of things. But, um, <laughs> this is so funny. It's, it's really not funny. I, I don't think, I, I don't, t I don't think I've talked about this either. I, I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel. This is probably TMI, but it's fine, because you know what? We're normalizing this type of talk. So basically, I'm a woman. I, unfortunately, when I get my period, I get excruciating pain. Like, I'm talking, it's debilitating. I can barely move. I'm like throwing up, passing out, debilitating. Um, and so, I was just so lucky to get it today in the city. It was awful. I had to like hobble to a chemist warehouse to pick up like pain relief and a water bottle because I didn't have one on me and I was like literally stumbling there because I could barely walk and I'm around people I have to act like I'm fine when I was like <laughs> on the inside trying not to throw up and pass out anyways I got the pain relief and I literally just like sat in Berkshire <laughs> like popping down these pills <laughs> And just sitting there trying not to to faint. And um I, I like call my mom and I'm like, Mom, I don't know how I'm gonna like walk to the train station and get on a train home because I can't walk. And she's like, Is there trams around? Like maybe you could catch a tram and a tram went past and like there were so many people on this tram that it just it would not have worked. It would not have gone well. Anyways, I eventually <laughs> managed to get home, obviously. I'm here now. But I got on the train and tell me why I'm like I'm in absolute agony and I see someone from high school and like we're having this conversation on the train and then I'm just like I need to get off this train so I can go vomit in a bathroom so I um I got off the train texted my mom and I was like hey can you pick me up from the station went to the bathroom and like died it was disgusting awful unsanitary not fun zero out of ten do not recommend ever but she picked me up I cried in the car the whole way home, got home, had a shower, had like boiling hot water pelting down on my stomach for some kind of relief, um, and now we're here. So I'm going to give you a haul of like the mini haul of what I got. So first off, I got Boy Genius, the record. I've wanted this album forever. I was very lucky to be able to get my hands on it. I was so excited. Anyways, I want to open it and see what's going on. Okay, close my own. Thank you. Because I'm pretty sure it is only like one vinyl disc. But I have a feeling it's hopefully, maybe, actually, maybe not. I thought my, there might be like inclusions, like a poster. Sometimes artists do that with their vinyls. I actually haven't seen anyone unbox this. So we'll see. I know there's a particular name for like 
the vinyls that open like this. Oh, this is so cute. Hold up. <gasps> is it a poster? Is it? No, it's a little zine. Zine? I absolutely love when vinyls come with like little additions like this. Okay. <laughs> the cutest thing ever. And then of course, we got the vinyl. She's so pretty. It's just a standard black vinyl. <laughs> She's so pretty, love her. I'm gonna need to get actual vinyl storage because there's not enough places on my wall. Anyways, also got some earrings. Alright, so first ones I got were these little, like, bow, sparkly, diamante earrings. They're just really cute. And I love dangly earrings and I don't have many of them. Then I got these little, like, heart satin ones. They're so cool. And then finally, I got these little cat and star ones. They're like, I love cats and I love stars, so it was just oh, perfect. I love them. I never, I didn't realise it. Just found this on my floor. This must have come out of the, the vinyl. It's a temporary tattoo. Okay, so this is really cute, but um, basically I've been going through a rough time at the moment. If you watched my video, I don't know when this video is coming out, but if you watched one of my more recent videos talking about like chronic health and like what I'm going through at the moment, I've just been diagnosed with like another chronic health condition and I'm just in the dumps really and it sucks. But tell me why my friend Lily, who's like my internet friend, sends me a message tonight at like, I don't know what time it was, it was like 9 o'clock and she's like, oh, I just left something in your mailbox. And I'm sitting there like, what do you mean you've just left something in my mailbox? Like she lives, like she doesn't live close to me, like she would have had to drive quite a way to drop something off in my mailbox. She left this book and fresh raspberries in my mailbox. She grows raspberries and they're like my favourite thing ever. So she left me some raspberries and she left me this notebook and she's literally written on every single page. It's like the sweetest thing ever. And it was basically like... Oh, I'm gonna cry. It was basically like my day had just gone to crap and I felt so sad and so down. And then I got this in the mailbox and it made me so happy. I just can't believe I have such an amazing friend like her. <laughs> I'm just so lucky. That's kind of how my day went. Now I'm going to go to sleep because I'm in so much pain. It's not even funny. Mm, walking down those stairs was not good for me. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Love you guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see All the possibilities, there could be a place for you and me